Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Besiege! Say hello to the snake! So usually when I play Besiege, I, I take a look at all the big machines and all these uh, flying dragons and whatnot, you know, trains and, and just ridiculous things. But now, today, uh, I want to take a look at all the little things. The small kind of things, the things that make you go, ah, Not this snake, though. This makes you go, ugh. So, first up, we have this thing called a crawler. <coughs> a crawler? Uh, it's four wheels and a couple of sticks and a spring. And it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> it it uh, kind of spins and uh, does some acrobatics. Acrobatics, that's the word. So, let's go wreck a village real quick. Uh, if it if it's able to do it. Oh, look, the villagers are running in, in fear of the a crawler. I'm stuck in the debris that I just destroyed. God, come on, get out of here. So this, uh, it doesn't, uh, it, oh shit, it pinged off into space and it broke. Mm, but it has a face. And next up we have a bike, and this looks cool as hell. Let's, let's try it, see what happens. Wow, are you? Oh, it tipped over. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try do donut. Let's do donut. No, don't tip over, crap. Donut. Let's do donut. Yeah, doing a donut. <laughs> Take a look at this, man. Doing a donut, being all casual and shit. This bike is really good. It's easy to control, and uh, it, it's not a death machine. <laughs> it's a bike, uh, but uh, it's easy to control. It goes pretty fast, and it looks good as well. Oh shit. What if we put multiple wheels on the back? That will It will make it go faster, won't it? I bet it will. There we go, now we have speed! Oh sh- hold, what the fuck are those? Oh, it's spinny as shit. <laughs> it's kind of- it's still a lot of fun. Let's see if we can kill sheep. Wow, it's kind of- oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> you press H and the whole- Bike just transformers. And next up, we have something called Fulton Recovery. Now, I tested this before I started recording, and uh, it was pretty much uncontrollable. So, if you, the creator, are watching, just place a couple of braces underneath. Like so. You can stack them on top of each other, and that will sort of hold the machine down. Oh, 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 oh! Let's grab the chicken. Let's grab the chicken. Come on. Come on, let's grab the chicken. Come on, please. Yes, we have a chicken. And then we press J and off it goes into the space. Bye-bye. Oh, oh God. You killed everybody. You killed everybody. Why did you do that? I'm, I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm dying. Um, the balloons are popping. My machine's dead and I can't steer anymore. Good. This is called... Fastest Little Walker, I th think. Oh, let me double check. Okay, it's called Fastest Little Walk. Yeah, uh, yeah that's that's the name. Uh, you press two buttons at the same time and it will sort of jump and jiggle around. Let's get the hang of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not that way. Wrong way. There we go. Good boy. <gasps> it strolls around. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it looks happy as hell. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we cross the border to the... Okay, if I'm guessing... You can just <laughs> keep on strolling. Oh man. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. And if you're really happy, you can jump. Hey. Uh, there's not much elf. It's not my elf. Not my elf. That is the little, little fastest walker, and it's kind of, it's kind of aw. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You're kind of aw. Speaking of walkers, oh, this is not, this is not a tiny machine. But I just had to try it. Um, it's called the Impossible Walker. So this guy looks like he's about to go on an adventure. When you press left and right, he starts walking. And this reminds me so much of Quop and Clop and whatnot. Because you have to you have to get him into a rhythm. If you don't get him into a rhythm, he won't walk. He will just trip over. But he breakdances. I need to turn on in invisible mode. In <coughs> invincible mode. Let's do some breakdance moves. Woo! Smoke, smoke, smoke. He's very good at breakdancing. Oh, stop. That is close. Oh, let's be real careful now. Let's not blow the mine. Okay, okay. Dramatic view. Oh, oh, oh. That is just a couple of picture, pixels. <laughs> pictures. Let's kill the sheep. Uh, I need to get some. 
I need to get some more beer. Oh, okay, and we're off to break dancing. Woo! There we go. Oh, I'm not standing up. So that's the impossible walker. He can't walk for shit. And next up we have a siege weapon. Now, this might look like the ordinary besiege machine, but when you press play, you can steer with it to the left and right. Yeah, man. And you can almost do a we... <clears throat> okay, so when these guys here want a piece of me, I just do like this. I shoot an invisible bullet. Let's do some breakdancing. There we go. Take a look at this perfect balance breakdance. So I think that does it for the small, small, very small machines. Just a couple of days ago, I, I got an idea what I'd like to do with some cannons. So uh, <clears throat> I did this. Say hello to the wall of cannons. So yeah, it wasn't just one line of cannons. It was two. I don't know how many cannons there are, but I think there's somewhere around... I really don't know, 200 maybe. 200 cannons. <laughs> that sounds like a good number. Okay, so... Fire in three, two, one! Ah! Oh, the lag. The lag is amazing. It's 10 frames and we have a row of cannonballs. It's gonna demolish the city. Demolished the city. <laughs> so yeah, that was a couple of small, small, very ah uh, siege machines and my wall of cannons and some other stuff in between. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you all next time. Wasn't this pretty? <laughs> yeah, it was.